The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force recommends that all pregnant people have their blood pressure measured at each prenatal visit to help identify and prevent serious health issues related to hypertensive disorders of pregnancy. Right now, we are in the midst of a maternal health crisis. We have um, some of the highest rates of maternal deaths and complications from pregnancy um, in the United States. And those, um, the leading cause or a leading cause of those maternal deaths and complications are this group of high blood pressure or hypertension disorders of pregnancy. Um, and so the concern about this group is that it's a hypertension that develops in pregnancy after about 20 weeks gestation, and it can develop pretty rapidly. So we um, are very interested in trying to identify the onset of these as early as possible so that um, you know, we can follow through with the appropriate management and treatment of that to prevent these bad outcomes that we see for both mom and baby. Hypertensive disorders of pregnancy can lead to complications for the pregnant person and for the baby. Uh, symptoms of headache, um, certainly uh, stroke is a big one, um, nausea, vomiting, um, organ damage, kidney damage. If it becomes severe enough, they can also experience seizures and unfortunately death and also death for the baby, uh, as well as complications of delivery with high rates of C-section um, that can occur as well. Dr. Davis says all pregnant people are at risk, but some groups are at higher risk. Some risk factors that increase that risk are having high blood pressure in a prior pregnancy or having pre-existing high blood pressure, um, also having uh, being of older maternal age, uh, and also race has been associated. So with black or Native American race can increase your risk of um, blood pressure, not necessarily for any biological reasons, but because of those social reasons or social determinants, uh, differences that can occur among those two groups. The task force is recommending more research to better understand and address these inequities for those at higher risk. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.